Hello, dear viewers. I'm going to start my presentation with this image. And what is it all about? It is about showing you the count profile even on the nuclear medicine image. Now here, if you see from this rectangle taken, the count profile is taken like that and the counts are shown in the form of peak of this curve corresponding to this high counts. And all this, these counts are uh, displayed or projected in the form of a gray scale, uh, the intensity, the darker and lighter shades of different gray scale. So this is the basis on which the image is formed on nuclear, in our nuclear medicine, diagnostic nuclear medicine imaging. That is the disintegration per second, the radiation signals get converted into counts per second or count rate by the radiation detector and a grayscale color code is given and an image is formed in this way. But now if we want the quantification, then this image is of no use. We will need the count, isn't it? So diagnostic nuclear medicine using non-imaging methods is the topic for today, where different methods I can show you. And that is like this. The in vivo, the example being iodine 131 uptake using the probe method. And in vitro, that is 125 iodine radio immunoassay. That is the biochemical estimation, biomolecular estimation using radio tracer. And here in vivitro, this is a new coin I have, new coin terminology, uh, 14 carbon urea bed test is the example. And uh, as the slides I'll be showing, you will get to know why this kind of a uh, term I have made for this uh, kind of non-imaging method. Now, let us go for non-imaging method, what it is actually. The detection of abnormality using radiations emitted from unstable radioisotopes where output is not an image but count for the quantification. Now, in vivo method, radioactivity is administered to the patient and the emitted radiations where the patient is emitting these radiations from the region of interest to the sense wherever the radioactivity is concentrated and these radiations are used to acquire the count. The example here, 131 iodine uptake study, that is oral iodine 131 in the form of a capsule, iodide, sodium iodide capsule or liquid in the very small amount, micro curie level amount because this is diagnostic nuclear medicine only. And so neck counts are acquired after one, two and three days using thyroid uptake probe. This is the thyroid uptake probe you can see here. And this is used to detect the thyroid disorders. In vitro method is the radioactivity used to estimate the biomolecule of interest inside the body fluid. And so that is uh, the radio tracers are used but not administered to the patient. Radio immunized assay is an example of in vitro technique of non-imaging nucleosome diagnostic. The 125 ID radio labeled antigens and unlabeled antigens, that is where the immuno part is there in radio immuno assay, compete with the limited antibodies. And you get a do dose response curve like this. And this reference curve, you see the inverse relation because the radioactivity uh, inside the reaction tube gets suppressed because of as the antigen concentration unlabeled and antigen concentration increases. And this is a reference curve and used to estimate the biomolecule in the, uh, of interest inside the body fluid. For example, serum. That is this uh, kind of, this biomolecule will be replacing the unlabeled antigens in the reaction tube and this uh, re because the unlabeled antigens are the known concentrations and that is how the reference curve has been drawn. And this uh, unlabeled antigens are the unknown also, if you see, and actually not antigens, but we are there because in this uh, test we call it as antigen, the analyte you can say. That analyte will be uh, measured 
using this reference as because the radioactivity will be known in that reaction tube and the unknown concentration will be found using this reference term. Example is the insulin assay serum sample. Now let us go for the in vivitro method. Now you can see here that radioactivity is administered inside the body, but the output is not from the patient's radiation signal or anything like that. It is in the form of exhaled breath, body fluid like blood or the excreted urine that is used to acquire the count. So this is why I have this terminology of in vivitro. And the example here is 14 carbon urea breath test. 14 carbon labeled urea capsule, again in microfury, very small level, is administered orally and after 20 minutes, the radioactivity in exhaled breath is measured to estimate the 14 carbon dioxide released. And this is to get the idea of uh, gastritic cause in the patient, whether it is by the mycobacterium helicobacter pylori. And this is a urease positive, that is the enzyme which can degrade urea, whether it is present in the stomach or not. And if it is, then urease, positive, urease uh, enzyme can degrade urea and 14 carbon dioxide can be produced. This is the basic principle. And so uh, the exhaled breath is measured uh, to check for the 14 carbon dioxide. Now the summary of this presentation will be what is non-imaging method. This is what we have seen here. And the in vivo method example, 131 iodine uptake study in vitro, 125 iodine radio immunoassay, and in vivitro, that is 14 carbon urea breath test. So now I'll be leaving you with the options of what are the, what is your interest, which one would you like to know more about, whether it is about 131 iodine uptake study or whether 125 iodine radio assay or is it for 14 carbon urea breath analysis that you would like to know more about. Thank you.